Hello YouTube, uh, HDD Recovery Services um, here and we're gonna do another video on these uh, SD cards. Now this Transcend device came in to us for recovery from our customer and when we plug this in it uh, shows uh, that instead of 16 gig it reads at zero and um, no software can see the contents, uh, try to access any sectors on it, it um, automatically uh, shows that they're blank. But most likely the controller had failed on this and we have slight suspicion that this is also a counterfeit product um, but uh, before we open this up it's going to be hard to say why i say that this is sounds like a counterfeit product is uh, simply because we just had a recently uh, very similar case but uh, the brand was different and externally the cards look exactly the same if we flip them upside down uh, the, the backs read identical um, and uh, the other card was uh, made by Duracell. Duracell, um, I don't even know if they'd make cards to be honest, but anyways, we got this. We were able to recover everything of this card, uh, by the way, and uh, I'll show you how it is done. So, if we look at the internal components of an SD card, unless it's a monolith design, um, which we will talk about in one of the further videos I guess it's a whole different topic but uh, basically it's a small printed circuit board that has your connection pins it has a controller chip and it has um, an NAND flash memory chip which contains all of your data now um, all of your files are in here but they are just in the raw code format they it's not like we can read this information with some uh, special reading device and all of the files are already going to be structured no so this is just a raw bank where all of the sectors that can that represent your files eventually are stored so what we do is yes we do have equipment that reads these chips uh, universally and uh, gives us a direct image of the contents also called as dumb. Now we use that uh, with uh, addition to um, next piece of equipment which is supposed to replicate the function of this controller chip. Now this controller chip is a brain of the device and that's exactly what renders all of those sectors into actual structure into a form uh, a file system that you can see when you plug in that device so when that fails this becomes useless so <laughs> if this fails and this becomes useless in this kind of setup when it's all put together and you plug it in we do have to remove this and substitute this part with our equipment that can replicate the function of the controller uh, by adjusting a, a, an algorithm that functions as such controller and uh, by combining it to the image volume that we took from this we should be able to restructure the contents of this card so that's what we're gonna do on this on this case and if you guys have um, similar problems with SD cards where you plug them in and it's either they not, do not come up at all that do not give any signs of life or come up with weird sizes like 46 megs or 26 megs or 0 megabytes or whatever um, just send us an email ask us what can be done uh, about this chances are we should be able to help out it's not something that can be sorted out with software so uh, there is nothing that we can really recommend and uh, in from that perspective to you know download and do this stuff at home but um, if the if the if the images that been taken um, to the corrupted uh, SD card need to be recovered, we should be able to assist you with that. Recovery rate for something like this is close to 80%. So in 80% times, all of the data is completely recovered, and uh, in 20%, well when we have to deal with things like encryption and uh, complex algorithms sometimes the data is just not worth uh, recovering for um, the amount of time that has to go into the case so uh, if you guys uh, like this video subscribe to our channel um, if you have 
questions regarding SD recovery, you can send them to this email address here. Uh, if you need to start your recovery case, you can also visit, visit us at our website and go to contact us page and uh, submit your request for recovery in the uh, description right there. Uh, you can download a shipping form which you pack together up with your SD card and send it to an address listed in the top right corner of that form. That's the address of our lab, that's where we do this thing. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to our channel, follow, follow us on Facebook, ask questions. We'll be back with more videos next week.